Greg's all frog here. Let's play some Factorio. We are going to need then more underground belt for this braid. Um, I'm gonna need like ten more of those. Let's make it twenty. Ten more of those for now. And that's a lot. You know what? Let's go see if I can get some um, gears because that's a lot of gears. Give me all your gears. I never did put these into a box, did I? I never did. That's the curse of making gears locally, then you know you don't have a box anymore. So we're gonna put these here. So we always have two stacks available to us. That way we have lots and lots of gears. Honestly, I should probably do it this way. So we have two stacks available to us, but there's one in each chest. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Okay, so it still continues to go that fast. Now oh, that's not bad. We're only making six of those. So if you have no idea what a braid is, I can't remember if I've used one in this campaign or not, which is bad, but braids are are pretty cool. Um, I'm making, I don't want to make another five until I have more of those guys. So we'll just start with this. Maybe this will be enough. So what I'm going to do, basically, is I'm going to shut down production. Um, we have to shut it down. Actually, why am I doing that? Because every one of these is going to stay in place. So you guys can stay. What's going to happen is these guys are going to go away. So get rid of these guys. Now I know my factory is going to be without iron for a while, which is not not ideal. Alright, so get rid of that. Let's do this first. So we get rid of these. Oh, that gives me some underground belt. I didn't need to make as much. We get rid of these. And we're going to have to get rid of all the furnaces as well, obviously. Okay. Um, and you know what? I'm going to upgrade the power as well. Hopefully this won't shut down our entire facility, but we'll find out. That is superfluous good. I was kind of hoping that would be the case. Is that still good? We are shutting down the RoboPort, which I don't like, so we'll put that back in. Okay, now we gotta bring this down. Do I have enough axes? Good. Nothing like having to make a new axe in the middle of a construction project. Okay. So now I need to pull out the middle. I may even have to actually move where those are going anyway. Not sure how I'm gonna get this down into the into that yet. We'll get there. As it was, there wasn't much iron left anyway. Crazy. This would be good from a pollution perspective. Without iron, a lot of stuff can't function. Alright! Hi! I don't know what's going on here. First off, I always end up with robots when I start doing constructive projects. Very strange. Okay. We want to start here. I think we want to start here. Yes, that's true. Okay. So again, this will be our proof of concept. We need to make sure that this works first, which it should. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. We don't need this at all anymore. What's this? It's stone. Okay, stone's going to go up that way. Oh, because for our bricks. Right, right, right. Alright, well, importantly, we don't need this anymore, which is going to save us some fuel. So that's good. Okay, so now... You're going to come up north. We're going to do this. We're going to braid. So in order to make the braid work, uh, you know what, let's just get rid of all these because we're going to end up having to move them anyway. And it's kind of creepy just watching them hold a piece of iron. It's good programming, though. Okay, so we come in. 
that's going to go underground there, and it's going to go to here. It's going to go underground there, come into here, it's going to go underground like that. This is our input. Okay. Now for the output, we got to go like this. No, because both of these need to be able to put in the output. So it starts here. So they both go off there. Yep, and it comes through here like that. Okay, that's our output. Okay. So that's the braid. Now what's going to happen is that we put in from here, from the in from the yellow, out from the red. Okay, so that doesn't put these guys on yet, which I understand. Now it does. And it does mean that we're going to have to put in the steel much, much later, unfortunately. All right, so we're going out. Uh, we can go out. In and out slow is fine. And honestly, if we're going to go fast, we're going to go fast. All right, that'll work for now. All right, so we have the braid. Da -da -da -da. The input is always going to be one slower than the output, which is fine. Okay, we have no problems with that whatsoever. But it is important that, you know, you can't braid. So what's happening here is that Factorio is... Uh, smart enough, I guess, that it knows that there's different types of underground belt, and so it will only connect to the same type of belt. So if I change these to red when I upgrade, it'll break. But if I change those to blue first, then change those to red, it'll be fine. So basically, because I care more about the output speed, the output always needs to be faster than the input. Then you just put in your... You just put in your um, power. And there you go. That powers everything. So now I just need one set of poles to power everything. There's no power there? Oh, there's no power for the southern half of the uh, of the thing. All right, well let's let's change that then. Let's put one of these bad boys in here. Why would there be no? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The power comes from the, the the east. Why would there be no power coming over to this? That's a flaw in the east, not a flaw in the west. And then the fact that there's no power coming over here, that makes sense because the power is in the east, it's not in the west. We can just do that. Alright, fine. That's very slow. Is this a level 1? My god, it is. Alright, that's fine. Uh, we don't need this to come out this far anymore. So that'll make it easier to mine when we get there. Now we should have a working furnace. Now I can't run between it, unfortunately. There it is. It's a beautiful thing. I have an odd number of these because I haven't put the output in yet. This this is expected. So now we just have to fill in the rest of them. I kind of want to look. Okay, look, we're going to go right up against it. Right, that's as far as we can go. I could put them all down, but then where do we break off the steel? We have to come all the way over here. It's a lot of wasted iron. Should have moved the whole thing over by one. That's fine. Whatever. It is what it is. So that comes here at the top and there at the end. There at the top. Um, ooh, and there at the end. No, that's fine. So we just have a little extra. That's fine. All right. Let me do this. Might as well get rid of all that. Uh, nope, we need it there. So we go to here. Let's get the fast inside. And then we're in. Do I have a fat? I do. One. We have eight more to go out. Yep, that's true. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm out of medium electric poles? Crazy. What do I need for that? Press plate. We'll get there. Someday. 
So this is going to be our column. I mean, I like it. It's it's a bit twitchy. But I like it. There's my power. And then for this last one, I'll just put that there. There you go. Okay, get rid of this here, because we're going to do better. There we go. It's, it's about time to upgrade this anyway. Should have done it a long time ago. But we'll at least get that going uh, to there, apparently. And then when I get more supplies, we'll have more supplies. All right, so this is exactly the same, except it uses a lot more energy. So let's check. How are we doing on power? <laughs> We're doing horribly on power. So just changing over the one is a nightmare. And we haven't even got these guys back working again. So what, what we did, though, is you can see we, we freed up quite a bit of space. I feel like I didn't need to do the braid. One, two, three. I, it looks like I could have just run two side by side, but honestly, I like this better. I like the braid. So I'll be able to compress all of my columns. Well, no, because you know what? I'd like to be able to run between them. In the meantime, we got to get iron going back to steel or we're going to be in trouble. So you, sir, are going to be a splitter. Like so. And we're going to do that. And I don't mind slowing it down a little bit. Compression doesn't matter anymore, right? So... So this is eventually going to come through here because I can run on this. So this is how we're going to bring the steel in. And then this gives us far more room when we eventually go to electric for that. But we can't do that until we get more power. Which means more power is on the menu. Which means I'm pretty sure in order to get better engines, which are here, yeah, I need titanium. I can make titanium. Rutile is coming in. Now the question is, can I make these guys? No, because I need Invar and Brass. I don't think I could do Invar yet. It's Nickel. Invar looks a lot like it. There you go. I need Nickel Plate and Iron Plate. So, I mean, I could do it. I'm just not ready for it. So what I need is Logistics Cargo, cargo Speed to end because of size to end. It's going to be great. What I think we might need is just to build another column, unfortunately. It is only three. I do like to run four. This is robot cargo size two is done. We could do three right away, too. I mean, we're start starting to become diminishing returns, but at the same time, um, it's, it's truly helpful. It helps speed up the whole factory. All right, so if we do more steam, we certainly could do more steam. But I don't think I can get any more water over here from there. I don't see it happening. I don't see a fourth column coming over here because the longest pipe that I have... How far can we go underground? 30. Well, that's pretty far. 20, 20, 20, 15, 15, 15, 10, 10, 10. Um, even 20 is more than what, I'm do what I can do now. Maybe get some brass? Maybe some brass is the way to go. I mean, we can't do tungsten yet. Forget that. But we could certainly do brass if we started bringing zinc in. Um, wow. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're right at what we need. I could temporarily do another column up there. I think that's what we have to do. I'm just going to have to temporarily do another column up there. It's not ideal, but we're going to have to do it. And then let's let's clean this up a little bit. Get rid of that. I'm going to bring that in. I think that's going to be the best option. Honestly. 
So we'll do a temp column up here. So I'm going to need 13 level 2s. 5, 10, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to need 13, 10 of these. 5, 10. Alright, so it's going to take some time to get all that stuff done. But when it's done, it's going to be great. Oh, it's brilliant. I already had some steel furnaces lying around. So I only needed to make one of them. Cool. Very cool. I was going to upgrade the rest of my smelting to steel furnaces. But this is fine. We're going to go electric anyway. We're going to get all these steel furnaces that we can use. That'll be fine. So now, in order to pull them off onto this side, though, this water is going to have to go somewhere else. That's an iron pipe to ground. We're going to have to go steel pipe to ground. We'll bring the water in from the south on this one. Because it is temporary. We do have room right along here. I don't like it. But we can do it. We could put one here, but it's not long enough, right? That's the problem. We did steal. How far? We can go here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Well, wait just a minute. friends do you see do you see what I see way up in the sky shepherd boy it's another water source cool get rid of this get rid of this um, the problem is they're gonna combine right here I don't want them to combine right here but if we can do that that means we can do the same thing okay so give me, give me another steel underground Boom. That's what I need. Uh, I can't do it with that. We're, we're running... We're, we're running risks with our factory right now. <laughs> ah, hell! We don't have laser defenses. What does that matter? Okay. So let's run back around to the other side. This will be the last time we have to run over there. It'd be nice to have the spider walker. Let me tell you that. If you haven't seen that yet in the Friday uh, factoids, it looks really cool. Alright, you gotta go away. You gotta be replaced by steel. I already had the steel. Didn't even need to craft it. I feel stupid. I feel stupid. Oh, so stupid. Yes, it's stupid and witty and free. Boom. Just like that. I guess I did because this one was steel and that's that's what I was using for this. So that goes steel. This goes underground. That's the pipe. That's the pipe. We're back up to three. Pipe goes in here. Uh, would I like one more steel? I would. I don't have it. But I would like one more steel in the ground. We will get to that point. Let's get some engines in place. Bam. So that way I don't have to walk back over here. Okay. Steam engines don't cause pollution. It's good to know. The boilers do. The boilers cause a lot of pollution. But the steam engines don't. So this goes like this like that and then honestly we just need two more of these bad boys so let's just do that uh, we'll, we'll make ten of them though just so we have them we can just do this all right so that gets that this side is done now we just got to go to the other side hook up the power and we'll call it a day This water part's going to be the tricky part. So it comes down from here and goes in like that. No, so what we're going to do now is this one. It's going to come down from here. Into that. And this one will be from this one. Follow? Uh, shoot, I need burn, um, um, these guys. 5, 10, 1, 2, 3. forgot about those guys. I'm going to put the boilers in place first. It's a novel concept, I know. Okay, so that gives me that. Um, so I'll have to bring water around, which means we're going to need... 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's in the train station. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Get to the trains. Get to the chopper. Oh, no. How did I not have defenses over there? This is very, very bad. Where are they? There he is. How are there no defenses here? No. Very sloppy on my part. Very sloppy. Um, I have no turrets. Okay, let's make some. I can only make gun turret ones and sniper turrets. So give me one of those. And then one, two, three, four of those. That's very sloppy. I do have lasers on me though, so let's put some lasers in. Hmm. Where did they come from, I wonder? Looks like they came from the south, these guys maybe. So they bypassed that and went straight for this. I need some repair pack. Um do -do -do. So we'll get that going. Yeah, yeah. Oh, then we need construction robots over here. Uh, yeah. Which I can't make, because I can't make the flying robot frames because I have no steel. So I'll have to go steal some of the construction robots. Why are you not pulling gold? Did I not tell you to ask for gold? You did. Is that not gold? That is gold ore. Oh, it's doing some. It's just it's prioritizing Rutile. Well, that's fine. I've got some repair pack on me, so let's repair the train. Repair the power. Repair the robots. I don't know where the other robots are that require repair. But I do now have turrets. Oh, I had turrets in the north, not the south. Yep. They must have come from the south. Wild. That is unfortunate. Oh, we're over now. Well, all right, we're going to leave it right here. And when we come back, I'll finish up with my defenses, get some construction robots over here, and then I'll finish up with the power. Wow. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated to everything that happens. And until next time, cheers.